Are your emails not getting delivered to your clients? If they're not, and even if they are, you need to check this if you're sending emails to anyone, prospects, clients, if you're sending emails individually, or especially even if you're sending emails through email newsletter systems like Constant Contact, through our software, through anything. You gotta check on this. This is something that's pretty important. So first, I'm gonna go into a little bit of just basics about what you need to check. Every one of you need to at least check these basic things or else your emails especially aren't gonna get be delivered to Gmail or Yahoo addresses. Okay, and then I'm gonna get into a little bit of specifics about what to do that's a little bit more technical, but at least pay attention to this first part that I'm gonna tell you about. There is a new authentication called DMARC that Gmail and Yahoo are basically demanding to be able to send email to them. And I'm gonna give you some tools below this video where you can go in and quickly check. You can go to the DMARC checker over here, put your domain name in and see, make sure that it says success, right? I'm also gonna give you the link for the SPF checker, which is another part of DMARC. I know there's a lot of acronyms, it's kinda of silly, it's kinda of crazy, but again, if you're sending from an at domain name address, you need to pay attention to this. You need to check these. Put your domain name in and check it. Um, and there's also one for DKIM. So what ends up happening is you've got two different sort of uh, authentications that you need to get before you can get DMARC essentially. You need to have your SPF authenticated and your DKIM authenticated, right? And you're gonna need to do this through your hosting company more than likely, but also if you're sending mass emails through Constant Contact, Aweber, Brevo, MailChimp, any of those kind of guys, you're gonna need to get some specific codes to put in to the back of your website for that to be able to make sure that the email world knows that you're authenticated, right? So go to these links, especially check the DMARC link, especially check SPF. If you want, there's actually a blacklist. If you're wondering if you're blacklisted, you can check that. Unless you've been sending a ton of spam email, you're, it's probably really not everything. But nonetheless, it's important. This was a very good tool that I've used to be able to go in and check to make sure that your email is actually authenticated. Now it's not, especially the DMARC authentication, it's not done on accident. You have to get those codes actually put in and the internet world has to look at them and actually see that you're a real company and real website and you haven't been sending bad emails. If you're sending a lot of cold emails though, you're gonna eventually, if not already, if you have been, you might not be able to pass that part of the test. There's also another tool that I've given you that's pretty good too that I'll give you below here called the MX Toolbox. Now on here, actually here, I, I part of mine is actually showing that it's not enabled because I changed some settings just a little bit ago and it's not caught up yet because it just happened probably a half an hour ago. But it's something great to check and it'll tell you pretty accurately whether or not you have those records there if they're in place in the right spot. So what you're gonna need to do is get with your hosting company, okay? And this is like GoDaddy, kind of where they give you to put these C names for getting your uh, DMARC and your all these other authentications. It's gonna give you a text record and a uh, C name record and sometimes even an A record record and you're going to need to put those specific records in to your area here in your uh, cPanel or somewhere in, in the back end of your website. And usually that's something that your host, uh, webmaster can do. Sometimes there's a little bit of a small fee. Um, it looks kind of complicated. It's not that complicated, but then again, too, it, it it's not, you know, it's not for the novice uh, internet person or, or webmaster. So um, if you're using Brevo, which is the software that we actually use through our email system, through our software, you're gonna wanna check on a couple of things there for sure. First and foremost, check under compliance. Log in and go to your username and check under compliance, and you should be able to see whether you're validated or not for your email campaigns. Furthermore, you're also gonna wanna check on your senders, domains and dedicated IPs underneath here. And first check your senders. Uh, here we're, I'm, I'm validated. However, um, here we're not validated all the way. We're partially, but not all the way because the signature is wrong because this is actually an email that I'm not using anymore, but the main email is actually validated. So the other thing that you're gonna wanna check on, the domain name over here, you're gonna wanna double check that that is actually authenticated. If it's not, you're gonna have a hard time getting emails delivered through the system. And again, the same type of thing is gonna work with Constant Contact, 
AWeber, any of those other types, MailChimp, any of those other type of companies. You're going to need to contact them, though, for what those codes need to be and put those into the back end for your emails to be able to get delivered for sending email newsletters. Again, this is something I highly recommend that you do first and foremost. Check to see if you're authenticated in case you are. After that, if not, you need to get with your hosting company. You need to get with your email provider and get those codes and put those in. So get those done. If you have any questions, I'm still kind of learning about this myself. It's a crazy thing. There's also another authentication that's actually government mandated for text message marketing, um, which is actually helping reduce spam quite a bit for text message marketing other than political because that's still legal. But for general spam, it's reduced quite a bit because of this new A2P. I'm hoping the email system will do the same thing. I'm not quite as optimistic, but I think it will help some. But anyway, get these certifications that I'll be doing another video soon on the A2P text message marketing compliance that's really helping cut down spam. But again, a little bit of a hoop that you gotta jump through. But the good news is when you jump through that hoop, then you're a lot of your competitors aren't going through that hoop. They're not doing this, so they're not getting emails delivered. They're not doing the A2P compliance, so they're not getting their text message delivered. So do it. You're going to have better success in marketing to your prospects and your clients.